welcome back to the class everyone today we're going to be talking about a long-running theory of mine that due to recent information we found out to be very accurate so what are we going to be talking about we are talking about how you can essentially get yourself more wins in gac without actually having to become a better player or build a better roster or have better mods and all of this is going to kind of revolve around the current matchmaking system. I realize that a lot of people have their own qualms with the current matchmaking system, but there's really one big flaw in it right now that in my opinion needs to be addressed. You should not be able to do this and essentially manipulate the system when you're not actually doing or outplaying anyone out there. So just as a little bit of a recap, what are we talking about? In November 2021, CG changed the GAC matchmaking to be entirely based off of win-loss. Nothing else matters. Your GP, your Zetas, your Galactic Legends, how many points you score, how many points your opponent score, none of that matters. You win, you go up on the totem pole, you lose, you go down. And essentially what this created was this environment or this tournament where you would only climb as far as you technically could with your roster or your player ability, and then you would essentially just be going... 50 50 wins and losses from there on out because you've hit your wall like you've gone up as high as you can you're with the players that are essentially at your exact level whether it be because they have a better roster or and you're a better player or the opposite or some mix of the two anyways that's kind of what we had thought was happening and it is for the most part however when we go over to our spreadsheet here i have compiled all of my wins and losses over the last 10 months, this is not cherry picked data. I didn't just go to one or two seasons and be like, hey guys, look at this thing that's happening. No, this is 10 months. This is 89 battles. It's almost 90 because we still have one more tomorrow. And I'm going to show you that we are currently sitting at a 61, almost 62% win rate. Or essentially, this whole wall concept of you're eventually going to get up to a point where you're going to have 50% wins and 50% losses is not entirely accurate. And I think a lot of people are probably asking, okay, is it you just bragging that you've got 60% wins or like, you know, why is that? Is that because everyone helps you on your stream? Is it because you have a really big roster? Is it because you have the Luminar Omicron? And well, all of those are probably a little bit true as to why we've been winning so much. There's something else that we've accidentally i don't want to use the word manipulate because i feel like you have to intentionally manipulate something to manipulate it but one thing that we've been accidentally doing is we've been winning more often in the late rounds of the month than we have in the big beginning and why why is this important so if we come over here and this is my profile or whatever and you can see at the very beginning of the season which happened around may 21st here or actually no uh may 24th at my first loss I lost 43 points. Had I won that battle, I would have actually gained 43 points and so on and so forth. So um, actually not so on and so forth. Every single time a match happens, these points go down. So first, our first win or loss was worth 43 points. Our second was 41. Our third was 40. And the next one was 38 and then 38 and then 36 and then 35. And eventually it'll keep going lower and lower and lower. The point where it looks like something like this in the spreadsheet. I don't think this is consistent every single match to these exact numbers, but it is this same idea where the first round is always worth more than the second and the third and the fourth and the fifth and the sixth and the seventh, the eighth and the ninth. Why is this relevant? Because the amount of points you get dictates how high you go on the leaderboard and how high on the leaderboard determines what opponents you are going to be facing. And typically, the higher you are, either the better the player is, the bigger the roster is, the more or the better the strategy is, whatever, you're going to be facing, by definition, a harder opponent. So what you can do, and again, we were doing this accidentally, is we are actually winning later on in the month. And what's that doing is that is only pushing us up by a smaller amount of points. And we're essentially getting not... 100% easier matches we're obviously still losing you know 38% of the time but we are less likely to get matches where we're not just going to stand as much of a chance again through the variety of things that you can do to win a match and you can see here for the if we add up the first three matches how many points they're worth they're worth 124 whereas the last week it's only worth 104 that's a big difference that is 10% in points that essentially you're climbing less getting 
slightly less hard opponents, and then you're able to have an opportunity to win more when you really didn't work for it. You just either happened or intentionally lost your first several rounds. And so basically what we're looking at here is this is a way for people to manipulate the system to get more wins. And there's a few problems with that, and we're, I want to address those now. And by the way, I'm not really recommending anyone do it. I think there's a very small niche part of the player base this might be helpful for. A, if you don't really like GC, you're just entirely in it for the rewards, and you're really wanting to focus on a lot of the other game modes right now. One of the things that has become difficult recently, especially with the raid and TB and Conquest, is there's just not a lot of time in game, and sometimes things start to fall by the wayside. If you and if that is consistently GEC for you, this might be beneficial for you to like you know look at your first four or five rounds and be like, hey, uh, the internet guy told me these are worth more. I'm going to drop more if I do this, and then I should be able to pick up the, the next four rounds or four or five rounds easier. The only two things I will say with that where you can really screw yourself by doing this. Number one, you can drop out of divisions. So right now we're currently in Kyber One. If we were to do this consistently with how close to the wall we are we would drop down to Kyber 2. So now I'm forfeiting winning crystals for a lesser division crystal. So I don't know exactly if I'm breaking even, but that's obviously not ideal. And by the way, I myself am not doing this intentionally and I would never do it just because I love the game mode. And honestly, it's probably one of my favorite pieces of content to make by streaming it on Twitch, which is really fun to do. So we're not, I'm not going to be doing this, but if you were, that is one thing that would happen is you have to be worried about dropping down to lower divisions. And then the other thing you also have to worry about just because you throw your first four or five matches doesn't mean that you're guaranteed to win the last four or five. So if you are genuinely competitive, you generally want to win more than you're probably going to feel terrible trying to throw your first five matches or four matches to be able to pick up the next five and then you lose one or two of those and it's it's not going to be a super great feeling but either way i don't i don't like this i think that cg needs to do away with the weighted system i have no idea why these aren't exactly like like i don't know what point is the right point but what i would like to see is them all just to be 39 like let it be 100 percent across the board let winning in the last week and letting winning in the first week be of literally no difference at all i don't I don't really care because this right here, and I do, as you can probably see here, the numbers don't exactly match up. Um, they are, you know, about a 10% away and we are in the 20%. So I think part of that is actually because we are climbing a little bit. And another part of it, the reason why we haven't really moved from where we're at, which is kind of something that I think I should have mentioned towards the beginning, is we've essentially just been staying in the lower part of Kyber 1 for the majority of this because of the squish that's another element that's happening that's actually not happening correctly uh both in kyber one and kyber two it's pushing people down more than it is pushing them up so that could be another reason why we essentially haven't changed where we are we've hit our wall even though we're winning more so i felt like this is something that probably needed to be addressed brought out to the community there's some people that out there that i think it might be a good fit for like i said myself i will not be taking uh, advantage of this so to speak because i think it can be a little bit dangerous but at the end of the day, I, it's something need, awareness need to be brought to so that hopefully this can just be dealt with and this can go away. I don't really have any high hopes about that. But yeah, as to what I was referencing before, I really have not moved out of the bottom of Kyber 1 in the last 10 months, even despite winning more. And again, part of that is the squish, but the other part is the fact that I am consistently winning later on in the seasons and I'm getting less points to climb the leaderboard and I'm but I'm still getting more crystals via winning. So that is going to be it for today, guys. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments and really how you guys think that this should be. Is this okay? And what, what's the reasoning for it? Like, I, I don't, I don't really get that. But anyways, until the next time, stay awesome.